Welcome back everybody to another Dragon Ball Super video. Today we're going to be going over the rares for the new set 10 green archetype. Um, and then it looks like tomorrow they're going to be releasing the green starter deck cards, which would be awesome. So stay tuned for that for tomorrow. But make sure you guys like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Hit the little bell down there for notifications whenever we post the video. We post a lot from everything from informational videos to just fun deck profiles and gameplays. So uh, it looks like we have five cards to go over. I'll go over them really quickly. Um, we got a 5-drop uh, Sun Goku, Pride of the Sands, Double Strike, 25k. This card can't be removed from the battle area by skills, which is very good. Um, it can be, it can have its power reduced to zero uh, to be removed, but it can be removed by a particular skill. Uh, this, if there is a Sun Goku with an energy cost of 4 under this card, and this card is in rest mode, when your opponent plays a battle card with an energy cost of 5 or less, they choose 2 cards in their hand and discard them. That's really strong because it's not a 1's per turn. Uh, so if your opponent plays anything under five, uh, whether it's a counterplay, doesn't matter what it is, because um, it, it, it doesn't say it, it doesn't say um, on your opponent's turn on or on yours. Just, this card has to be in rest mode. So you basically just swing with it. And you make them basically play stuff. Um, when this card is played, however, choose all your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and KO them. So this is a very very strong card for five. I'm assuming there's a way to get it out earlier because five specific green energy is that's like a secret rare <laughs> uh, so I'm sure there's a way to cheat this card out a little bit um, oh, I'm sure we'll, we'll probably find something like that but this is a good card this is this is a very strong rare this is a very very text packed rare um, I like that card intense training Sun Goku uh, deflects barrier activate main or battle if your leader is a green Sun Goku and you and you send a total of five green Sun Gohan, Youth, Vegeta, Bulma, Krillin, and or Piccolo cards from your drop area to the warp. Choose one mono green Sun Goku with energy cost of five. Okay, so there we go. I, I'll, I'll, all I had to do was wait <laughs> one card. Um, uh, put on top of this card, shuffle your deck if you look through it. So, the fact that this is an activate battle makes it extremely strong. Because if your opponent plays a bunch of cards, or they play out, uh, I don't know, um, the secret rare. You know, uh, you know, like a smoke dragon, uh, a Zeno cell. Um, let's say, um, I don't know. There, there's, there's quite a bit of cards. So they play out a card and they're trying to end the game. You can activate this card's battle, play that Sun Goku out, and then it just wipes their board. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty good pretty good that's a that's a good combination for four energy I don't, I don't think it's bad it has, it has deflecting barriers so this card's gonna come down uh, the only thing is you have to kind of play a combination of these cards which isn't really bad in green if you're playing a Sun Goku leader you're gonna be able to play a lot of the, the green Krillins that you know are four drops or one drops that, go, that they become four drops Bulma not a lot of great green Bulma cards that I can think of right now so this is probably something you're not gonna play Sun Gohan has a self awakener that you can play you have Vegeta the Cruel, and you have like cards like Piccolo, Sinlin Ability, uh, Kami Power Piccolo. So you have a you have a decent amount of cards you can play um, to kind of fit those requirements. So this is a good card. I like this. I, I like where the green archetype's going. Uh, Frieza Dark Infestation, four drop, 15k double strike, unique. If your opponent has three more energy, this card is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO'd. Add one extra green card with an energy cost of one. You drop to your hand. That's very good. So you get some of your. Um, Maybe a negate, uh, maybe a cells or destroying command mana, maybe an artificial impact, um, or, uh, yeah, um, maybe some other cards that they're going to come out with. Uh, the uh, the one drop, Dark Dragon Ball, you can get. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, activate main, place a card in this drop area. Choose one of your opponent's card in your in, in your opponent's hand and discard it. Uh, so you get the effect of Earth destroying command mana. Um, not a big fan of this card. It's a four drop, 15k, which is just a terrible stat line. It does have double strike. Um, but hopefully there's a way, I believe someone said in the, in the last video, there's a way to get the Zeno Freezes out. Um, I'm assuming in the starter deck, they'll have some way to get this out early too, because paying four energy for a 15k is just not good. Uh, but uh, when it is played, as long as it hits the field uh, and then it's removed, you can you know, basically take a card from your drop. That, that's an extra card to add to your hand. So you get a little bit of, of, of hand replenishment. Um, so it's it, it, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. My what I would probably do is I'd probably play this. Um, hopefully, uh, I I would probably swing, um, and then I would probably make them discard a card more than likely, um, just by dropping it. Unless because most most decks are gonna have a way, especially now in set ten, there's gonna be a way to remove a 15k no no barrier having 
card. This is pro card's probably not going to last more than a turn. <laughs> so, it's not a not not too highly on that card. Krillin Potential Unlocked. Uh, one drop, 4k permanent. You're, during your opponent's turn, if your leader is a green Sun Goku and your life is at 4 or less, increase the card. Increase the energy cost of this card by 3 in all areas. So, there's like 5 Krillin cards that all have this sort of idea of where they're 1 drops or 4 drops. Uh, they have Blocker. It looks like this card gain, gains Blocker. Uh, they draw... They're all to support the Sun Goku archetype of watching Krillins die and Goku get stronger. Um, when this card is played, choose one. Look at the top five cards for a unison card with a specific cost of two. Very good. So this is basically a Krillin Searcher for unison cards. And then this card, you can gain Blocker as well. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, uh, I think this, and there's a Krillin Calling for Help, which is the same idea, but instead of searching, you just draw one. So... Pretty cool. Uh, this fits the Clash Coup archetype really well, which I'm, I'm working on a deck for, a deck profile for it. Um, it it's, it's, so yeah, this, this, this card fits right in. That's, this is good. I like this. This is, this is a decent card. Um, last one. Yeah, we already saw this card yesterday. I'm not going to go over this again, but this is the Unison uh, Denial of Hope cards, basically, for each, each color. Uh, the Doria Brimming with Power. One drop counterplay for leaders a mono green and you have a green unison card in play. If the battle card being played has an energy cost of two or less, it is placed in its owner's drop instead. Play this card. Okay, so we have a one drop um, denial of hope. It gets around barrier. Uh, you need to have a mono green leader and a unison card in play. It doesn't say what energy cost. It doesn't really. Need, so you can just play any any of them. But um, yeah, this is good because you're as long as you have a unison card in play. Um. Your opponent has to respect that, and uh, you can basically play one energy to remove two energy worth of cards, or card, I should say, from your opponent's board, which is very, very good. Um, this is a good card. Uh, the, the requirement of having a Unison card is, you know, kind of makes it a little more steep. If it didn't have that requirement, this card would be bonkers, because you can just play it turn one and just bounce uh, self-awakening cards. Um, but it's still, it's still really good. Um, it may not come up too much. Right now, I'm trying to think of some some really strong one and two drops uh, that people can play. Um, uh, the Kid Q card comes to mind, the uh, one that searches out four star balls. That's kind of the biggest one that I can think of, or even the policeman <laughs> being able to bounce a policeman back for one energy. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's probably my favorite card out of the outside of the uh, the five drop here. So this card is really good. I would like to see some more support of what we're gonna get around this archetype. Um, uh, this is the the catalyst of this card. It's pretty good. Defle it has deflect and barrier, so you know gets around the denial hopes and the hidden potential and all that kind of stuff. Not a big fan of this card. I, I would like to see the starter deck stuff tomorrow. Uh, make sure you guys tune in for that uh, to kind of see what how this card's gonna really do. That's that that's gonna give you more of an answer. Um, another Krillin, just more support for Clash Coup, and then a one drop denial. So it's pretty good. Uh, so good job, Bandai. Uh, we got some more green, some more good green stuff. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, uh, let us know what you guys think of these cards, and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the starter deck reveals.